News Channel 8 at 5.30. As the economy continues to struggle and small businesses try to survive, one Bay Area operation is doing more than just skating by. As News Channel 8's Jennifer Lee explains, it's a business from an era gone by, and it's actually thriving. It's a fun thing to do. It's in a safe environment. How many are you paying for? It's tough for even the glitziest businesses to get on a roll in this economy. Okay, it'll be fourteen dollars. But in the tightest of times, Chanel Bellotto's bread and butter is booming. All right, you guys are all set. She caters to a crowd that prefers entertainment that won't break the bank. For our groups, we charge them three dollars. And at Skate World in Lakeland, that's what they get. Well, I think that families that can't afford to go to Disney World come to Skate World. That's not to say Chanel hasn't stressed more than once over the struggling economy. There were days where, you know, we were worried if we were going to have enough people to come in to cover turning on the air and running the lights and paying staff to be here. Hey guys, how y'all doing? But those fears faded fast and Chanel even braved a few improvements to give the business a boost. We added new carpet, we gutted the bathrooms, we ordered new skates, and people just started coming. What size do you weigh? A two? Some nights, close to 200 people will pack the rink and never shell out more than $6 each to get in the door. Now I understand why my daddy did what he did for 30 years. Owning all of this wasn't a lifelong goal of Chanel's, but about two years ago, her father, who bought the business 30 years ago, died very suddenly of cancer. Adonis Datus' death left a void in Chanel's life and a gaping hole in the business, which suddenly thrust her into the role of entrepreneur. And I thought, you know, I'll do it for a few months, and then we'll sell it and move on with our lives. And all of a sudden, all these things started coming together, and I decided this was what I was meant to do. All right, you're all set. And at a time when owning a business is as uncertain a prospect as some people's skating skills, Chanel feels her footing is just fine. Well, I think growing up in the skating rink and being by my dad's side, working the cash register since I was 10 years old, helping host birthday parties, in between putting my roller skates on and getting my groove on, um, it was just meant to be. Even in the glare of an unforgiving economy. In Lakeland, I'm Jennifer Lee, News Channel 8. Skate World's success is also benefiting local charities. The rink holds fundraisers for churches and civic groups and gives the organizations 50% of all the proceeds at the door. In just one year, Skate World went from giving $2,500 back to the community to $7,500 in fundraising dollars. Did you do that when you were a kid? Oh, yeah, no, and my mother was really into that back in the day. She had all, that. her mother made her dresses and things like that, and mm. she would go out and, you know, it was a big deal, and of course she raised me, obviously, and took us skating, and, you know, learned to do the backwards thing. I, I was going to ask, bomb. could you go backwards? Oh, yeah, I could go around. <laughs> it's easier than ice skating for jumping me. Barrels. I was better at that. Yeah. No, you didn't. Did you do? Oh, yeah, yeah. You jump? No, yeah, you, you, you should jump people. Now, don't do this, though. You could do harm, but you I were a skater. I want to video. You enjoyed that? Well, if it was back then, or if it was now, it'd be on YouTube. We could watch you do that. <laughs> that would be fun. That would be fun. Well, a terrific.